What's going on YouTube? Ryan Knox back from Dopemon again. Today, we're going to talk about Team Latvia in this video and their roster, their announced roster for the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic Games happening just a couple weeks. We're going to give you a little, little, little preview, a little, little snapshot, a look at everybody, what we think the lines could be, and so on. And uh, if you're into Olympic hockey, drop a like and subscribe. We've got uh, a bunch of content not only coming out for the future, but uh, we've announced and, you know, covered almost every single national roster for the Olympics so far. Finland, Russia, Slovakia, Sweden, Switzerland, USA, Canada, China. If your team's in there, go check it out. Go check us out and uh, stick around because uh, we can't wait to watch the Olympics. Absolutely. I'm really excited. And speaking of prior olympics their goalie is the scariest individual in this tournament alex i don't know if you remember but i do every day of my mm -hmm. life he haunts me we got christers gudlevskis yanis kalnins and ivan puninov christars gudlevskis if you know you know if you're Canadian, you know, almost threw off our entire 2014 Winter Olympic Games. Has been named to this team. I've We've put him as a starter because why not? Uh, Puninov's played the majority of the Olympic qualifiers. But Kuzlevsky is who he is. So, currently playing in the SHL, actually. Uh, played in Slovakia early this year. Got a lit. Got a couple NHL games after he played very well in the 2014 Olympic Games. Yanis Kalinin's we have as the backup, 30 years old. Plays currently in the SHL as well. Played in the KHL last few years for Jokerit in Finland, the Finnish KHL team, and Ivan Putinov's. Like I said before, Ivan's Puninovs. Sorry, Ivar's Puninovs. Ivar's, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, the NL is where he has been playing for his entire career for the SCL ti uh, Tigers and is a very good, I think, third to throw in there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I almost forget how old Puninovs has gotten. I remember when he was a little bit younger and thinking about him as like a prospect, and now, you know, he's like. Like he is our age, so yeah. maybe <laughs> makes makes us realize how old we are. And uh, onto our uh, our D pairings, our top pair we have Yuvis Belinskis with Arters Kulda. Uh, Belinskis, he's a guy that has uh, yeah played uh, the majority of his career with the Dynamo Riga, but he's currently playing for the HC Litvinov in uh, in Czechia. <laughs> Uh, I think it's uh, he, in the Olympic qualifying games, he played a big part of this team. And I think it was a big step up for him to move on from the Dynamo Riga in the KHL to the Czech League. As much as the KHL is better than the Czech League, the Dynamo Riga team isn't that great. So, you know, getting off of it, it kind of shows that, uh, you know, I think that yeah, he, he can handle, uh, you know, a, a more elite competition and, you know, still be playing well on a good team. And he's go getting over 20 minutes a night on that team. So we have him up there. And on his right, we have Arturs Kulda, who is a left-handed shot. I think uh, there were almost, I think, like seven, seven left-handed D on this team. They they brought they only brought one right-handed shot. He is a 2006 draft pick for the Atlanta Thrashers. <laughs> I, he does have a little bit of uh, NHL experience. Doesn't have, I think he only has two points, no goals. But uh, right now he's playing for the Crefield Penguin and the uh, the DEL. He's good defensive presence. And I think that uh, Kulda being the defensive guy, Belinsky's maybe being a more offensive guy, that's, you know, uh, that's, uh, that's just uh, the kind of pairing we have. Yeah, and a lot of these lines are obviously taken straight out of the Olympic qualifying team because there's no NHL players. They end up just going back to that squad. Our second pairing. We got Oscars Zibulskis and Yanis Yaks on defense. Talked about Riga Latvia. Uh, the Dynamo Riga is the Latvian KHL team. That's where he is currently playing. 11 points in 31 games. A lot of them have played, obviously, in Dynamo Riga because you know, they're the Latvian KHL team. And Yanis Yaks is the right-hand defenseman you were talking about before. Uh, 26 years old. 
Uh, current new play in is HK Sochi is 18 points in 41 games for that KHL team and had two points in the qualifier. So good, you know, good two-way guy. I think we'll see how this team meshes up. And they were a pair of the qualifier, right? I think so. Yeah, they were. And uh, speaking of pairs, our third pair is a pair at the on the Dynamo Riga team in the KHL. On the left, Ralphs Freebergs, and on the right, Patrick's Ozol. Both left-handed shots. Uh, uh, Freebergs has two points in 34 games with the Riga. He spent most of his time in that Czech league. He's not really much of a scorer. Uh, it's kind of a uh, kind of uh, a little bit past his peak from uh from, uh, from what I've seen. And Patrick Olzols, he is very young. He's 20 years old. He would have been a 2019 uh, draft pick when he was playing uh, for Latvia. He came over. He's only played one NHL, uh, one, one North American uh, season with the Lone Star Bram uh, Bramus in the North American Hockey League. I think that one's pretty interesting. I'm surprised that he. Uh, isn't a guy that uh, got drafted because uh, usually when guys come over and play a year in North America and they're European, they kind of get on some uh, draft boards. But maybe this is his year to uh, to actually get that, uh, you know, get a chance at the Olympics and NHL team sees and likes what they see and gives you a gives you a chance. Yeah, that Brahmas team, I believe, is the Texas Brahmas now, and that's the North American uh, Tier Three league. So that's not a very high league, but. I flipped to the wrong thing again. That's okay. Played well over there. Anyway, for our extras, we have Chris Stapp's Zeal and Carlos Kuska. Uh, now both guys played on Dynamo Riga. Like we said, a lot of those guys are over there. 24 years old, younger guy. Nine points, 32 games over there. Kuska. Again, Riga Latvia, 24 years old, plays on Riga, two points. So the extra guys are the extra guys for sure. Um, don't think they'll sneak up the, the lineup in any way, but, you know, with injury could get some playing time. And that brings us to our forward group. Our top line, we have Nikolai Yelyaseyevs, Loris, Darzins, and Ronalds. Kennens. Uh, for this top pair, Darzins and Yelyaseyevs, they are a pair in the Dynamo Riga. So uh, the top pair, we had them together. Yelyaseyevs, he's really more of a goal scorer um, uh, throughout his career uh, with uh, the Riga team. He's uh, gotten more goals in the KHL, which is really hard to do. Uh, the KHL is a, more, a lower goal scoring league, so he brings that kind of a, a goal scoring prowess to him. And Loris Darzins, who might be one of the biggest names, biggest forward name, in my opinion, on uh, this roster. He's 36 years old, makes him the oldest after uh, uh, the Russian defenseman. Uh, at, uh, oh, it makes him, sorry, the oldest on this roster. Uh, there are no Russian defensemen. I got teams mixed up, excuse me. Uh, at 36 years old, he's the captain of the Dynamo Riga team. He's been captain of Latvia internationally at the World Championship. Uh, it's... Uh, Pretty clear he's the number one center, in my opinion. Yep. And on the right, Ronald Kennens, who uh, he's gotten an NHL stint himself. I thought he played pretty good, but he was on a pretty bad Vancouver Canucks team, so didn't look too good. But now he's playing in the, 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 the top Swiss league, the National League, and uh, he's scoring a lot. He's uh, he's a high-intensity high uh, forward, brings a lot of energy, and I think this top line could be really scary. Yeah, definitely has a little bit of offensive potential for the Latvia team, who generally aren't a blow-you-away offensive group, but uh, more of a by-committee. And the second line, I think, could be just as good. We got Mix, Indrasis, Oscars, Batna, and Martin Carsons. Uh, Indrasis being the guy that I'm the most familiar with, anyway. Um, 31 years old. Played, you know, for the Latvia, you know, Olympic, you know, international team his entire career playing in the KHL. He's played in two different teams in the KHL this year. But look at all this Latvia experience he has. He's been part of this program for a long time. Oscars Batna, six foot five, big center from Riga again. Play, currently plays in Liga, Jurkarit, 
and actually earlier in the year played in the French League as well. Five points over there. So another guy, and you know, younger Latvian forward, Martins Carsons, another veteran of the Latvian system, 35 years old, was a second round pick by the Bruins in 04. And you know, had a little bit of time in North America, not much. It's only a few games for Tampa and Boston. And, you know, plays in, in Riga, this, or the Dynamo Riga. Played in it earlier in his career. It came back to end his career in the KHL, Latvian KHL team. And has seven points, I think, is a huge veteran presence. And really could be anywhere in the lineup, but we have them based on their, you know, historically what they've gone with as far as it goes. But uh, I could see him anywhere in the lineup, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, speaking of that, our next line was a, a line at the Olympic qualifiers, so we just kept them together. On the left, Kaspar's Do- uh, Dogovins. Down the middle, Rodrigo Abels. And on the right wing, Roberts Bucarts. That's Roberts Bucarts that we have on the right for this line. Uh, Dogovins, he was a third round pick by the Ottawa Senators. I'm a huge fan of him. I thought he has uh, an offensive uh, prowess that's, uh, you know, it never really clicked at the NHL, but. When he did go to the KHL after leaving, uh, he scored a bunch. He's one of uh, the most popular La- Latvian hockey players. He was captain at the last World Championship. And uh, I, he's a little bit past his prime, so I don't know how much of an impact he's going to make. But that you know, experience and leadership, uh, the, the poise, it's, it's all going to have to play a factor here. And uh, I think that through that, you know, when you're not playing against NHL talent, Maybe he could play a big factor. And, uh, down the middle, Rodrigo Abels. He's 26 years old, six foot four, 205 pounds. Is uh, exactly what we wanted uh, down the middle on our third line. Currently playing for Orebro in the uh, the SHL. He's their captain, playing really well there. Uh, I think he's a uh, a guy that you know. Now that uh, he was drafted in 2016 by the Vancouver Canucks, and now that his rights are no longer being held by Vancouver, maybe this is his chance to get back into the NHL. And uh, Roberts Bucarts, he uh, was never drafted, unfortunately. He spent most of his career bouncing between the uh, Dynamo Riga and the KHL and uh, the Czech League, where he currently plays. He's scoring a bunch right now. And uh, he's also been captain of uh, the, not the most recent world championship, but three years ago, uh, he's a, he was a, the captain. He was a little bit better, a, little, a guy who's also kind of past his prime, in my opinion, but I, I still like him for this team. Yeah, Kaspar's dog events, Ottawa Senators legend. Mm-hmm. Fourth line, and I think, too, something I wanted to note, I think these three lines could be in any order. So if you're For sure. worried about, you know, Kaspar's Dogovin should be on the first line. It's really 1B and C for me. Um, like I said before, the Latvian international team generally plays a very complete team game. And same for the D. Yeah, I, I feel like the, the D, D could well. be cycled in any in any order. That the uh, the amount of ice time that they get could be very even. Yeah, they they obviously have their guys that you know, are power play or are penalty kill, but on five on five, I think they generally try to to roll four lines very. Um, equally. Fourth line, as far as it goes here, quote-unquote fourth line, is Reynars Kratzenbergs, Dennis Smirnoffs, and Ryherds, Ryherds Bukarts, brother of Roberts. There's a third one, but he's not make this team Rodzers Bukarts. So a little bit of a family there. But we got another set of brothers on an Olympic team, so that's really cool. Uh, Kratzenbergs, though, 23 years old. Currently playing in the Latvian Professional League, the Ice HL. Uh, not known to be a very good league uh, as far as comparatively through the pro leagues in Europe. But it's doing very well there uh, as far as it goes. 27 points in 30 games. Almost a point per game out there. Not bad at all. Uh, Dennis Smirnov's playing in the NL. Another young guy. Um, comes from... Uh, a hockey family's played with Latvia for a long, long time, like a lot of these guys have. Uh, not a huge offensive threat, five points in 41 games in the NL. And the other Bukarts, the younger one, I believe, and 26 years old, doesn't have quite the offensive uh, prowess of his brother, 
nine points in 25 KHL games for his team out there. And that uh, brings us to our extra forwards. Uh, the first one's Andres Jarens and Martins Jerkles. Jerkles uh, should be a guy that rings some bells. Uh, he's currently he was a Toronto Maple Leafs draft pick. He's currently uh, has the rights to uh, held are held by the Vegas Golden Knights. So if he's gonna sign with an NHL team, it will be them until I believe he turns twenty five. Yeah, and I think that's when the rights summer, then. release. Yeah, so they have a chance this summer they'll get, be able to choose if they want to keep him or not. He's only He only played four games uh, with the Toronto Marlies. Didn't get a single point, but that was four years ago. He's grown since. He scored a bunch with the, uh, the Dynamo Riga last year, and right now he's playing in Czechia. Uh, he's scoring a little bit. I think he's uh, doing a good job, but we have him as an extra forward, as uh, as was on the, the qualifying line. He was an extra forward there as well. And uh, Andres Gerens, he currently plays for the Black Wings Linz in the Ice HL in Austria. You mentioned, uh, who was it? Was it Krestenbergs yep. that plays? Yes, Krestenbergs that plays in the Ice HL. Yeah, you know, when we talk about Central European leagues, we always focus on the the Swiss National League, the German DEL, but I feel like we kind of overlook the uh, the ISHL. I would obviously put them third among Central European leagues, but you know they're uh, they're still a, com- a pretty competitive league. There's a bunch of um, there's a bunch of uh, prospects in there for the 2022 draft. I'm very interested in uh, though. Uh, Jaren's himself, we have him as an extra forward. Of course, he hasn't scored that much, so that's our full roster. I just realized there is a mistake on the uh, the lineup card here. Um, we don't have Dennis Smirnovs. We have uh, Yelis, uh, Yelis Yevis twice. So that is Dennis Smirnovs down the middle. Renner Kassenberg is on the left. So apologies for that. It's no big deal, though. That's all right. Still did show. Here, I'll flip back over to him. I'll end on him. This is a guy we're missing mm-hmm. from the lineup, Dennis Smirnovs. Um a little bit of a goof there from our Oops. graphics department, Alex. That was um, my bad. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Um, yeah, that is the team for Team Latvia. We'll see how competitive they will be. I'm not too, you know, high on this team. Uh, Latvia has never really been a, a high, high competitive team, and they're in a tough division with Sweden, Slovakia, and Finland. So, uh, personally, I'd put them last. In that uh, division, we didn't actually do one for t- China, now I'm thinking about it, but I think that was obvious that they were going to be last. Um, but yeah, Latvia, I think, will probably lose all of its games. Maybe mm-hmm. Slovakia gives them a run for their money, but you never know with the great Christos Guzlevskis in net <laughs> or whoever they end up going with. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm obviously memeing, but we'll see. We'll see. I am excited about this team. What about you, Alex? You have anything else to say for this? No, you know, that's it for me. Uh, I feel like the experience is going to have to carry this team, but I agree with you. I'm not sure if this is one that, you know, they just kind of have to grind every game and lose it. You know, that might be, that just might be how it goes. So that's it for me. All right. If you made it this far, please leave a like on the video. If you enjoyed, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, you're interested in more dope hockey content like this and other things, let us know what you want to see from us. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Peace.